Good morning, Hoboken Middle School. Happy Friday. I thought it might be nice for me to get out of my office while I recorded my message this morning and walk the hall like you would be doing if you were here with me. I have a couple updates for you. I want to remind everybody about the Scholastic book um, availability online that we have access to all those resources so if you find some extra time during your day and you want to read go check that out go to the district district website check uh, the remote learning plans for your grade level and you'll find a document um, that gives you directions for Scholastic I want to congratulate all of you on completing your first week as remote learners I think all of you have done such an amazing job. The teachers, you know, communicating with your parents, your parents doing everything that they need to do at home to help you get set up. So I think all around that we've had a really successful week and I am super proud of everybody and all the hard work that you've been putting in and, you know, taking ownership of what you need to do as a a student and as a school community for us to stay connected and engaged in our academics. So um, I'm going to try to give you a little activity to do with me next week that I used to enjoy, a little origami. So I'm going to end this message with a um, clip of me starting that process with you. So have a great weekend, recharge your batteries, try to do some things at home that are relaxing to you and help you get ready for week two. Have a great weekend. So all origami needs to start with a square piece of paper and most of the papers we find lying around our home or we get in the mail as junk mail or come out of magazines are rectangular. Top and bottom are the same left and right are the same. So we need something that is a square, all the sides equal. So to make any rectangle into a square, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take one corner and you're gonna fold it over to the bottom edge and you are not going to have anything overlapping. So watch what I do. So we're gonna fold this over. I'm making sure that this line lines up and that this corner is a point. Okay. So now I've done that, no overlapping. This corner is a point, like you can see. Okay, so now I have this overhang. And this overhang represents the piece of the rectangle that needs to go when we are trying to get to a square. So having that set up like that, I'm gonna fold this backwards and I'm going to line that crease up with the edge of the paper, again, no overhang, no overlapping. Kind of looks like when you would make a paper hat when you were a little kid. So we have that. And in our piece right now, we have this overlapping extra piece. And we need to rip it. We need to take it off. So we don't like to cut when we're doing origami. We want everything to be done with our hands. So the way you cut a piece of paper without a scissor is that you really press into the crease. So use your, the edge of your finger or your fingernail and just press a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And then when you do that, you can lay the paper down and you can start to, and see it might give you a little bit of a hard time, but that's okay. I'm gonna try the other edge, rip it a little bit and just pull both sides away gently. And once you have that piece off there, you have a perfect square. And this will be the basis of the activities that I'm gonna lead you in next week. Um, as long as you have a square, you can make anything that I'm gonna show you. And over the weekend, if you wanna get yourself set up with a couple squares um, to participate in what I'm gonna show you next week, that would be a good start. Thank you.